Hello, world changers. Miss McCarthy here with your Florida Fast Math freebie of the week. I've created this weekly math video series to help you all feel calm and confident when it's time to throw down your best on Florida's fast math assessment. Each week, we will practice a specific question type. Now, these videos, they're short, they're sweet, and they are to the point. And if you know that you need some more practice, I'll point you in the right direction to get you more practice at the end of this video today. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, the focus for this week is drum roll. Multiple choice. Let's not waste any more time. Let's get to it and let me teach ya. All right, fifth grade, here is your problem this week. So go ahead and pause the video and try this one on your own first. Then when you are ready to continue, press play, come back, check your work with me. Let's go. Welcome back fifth grade. Let's go over this one. So it says Logan wants to buy a gift for his mom's birthday. He has $45 to spend. He found candles on sale for $7.99 each. Additionally, he wants to buy a card for $3.29 and a gift bag for $2.79. How many candles can Logan buy if he purchases a card and gift bag? All right, so that was a lot, but just to get the gist of this problem, I know that we have somebody named Logan who wants to buy candles and a gift bag and a card for his mom. So now let me go ahead and break it down. And I'm gonna draw this one out. So we have somebody named Logan. Here's Logan, he wants to buy a gift for his mom. So he wants to go, hey mom, here is a gift for you. He, notice I'm drawing really quick. I'm not taking time to doodle and waste my time. I'm getting to the point, but I'm helping to make this problem make sense. All right, so Logan, Logan has $45 to spend. He found candles on sale for $7.99 each. Additionally, he wants to buy a card, which costs how much? $3.29 and a gift bag. How much does that gift bag cost? $2.79, good. We're just pulling out the information from the problem that we need. $2, sorry, that's running together. There we go. How many candles can Logan buy if he purchases a card and a gift bag? So we have somebody named Logan. He has how much money? $45, right? He wants to purchase a card. Ooh, thanks mom for the card. He wants to purchase a gift bag to put the candles in. So card and a gift bag together. We need to take that away from that $45. Then we're going to have some money left. And with that money, what does Logan want to buy? Candles. So we have to see how many candles he can buy with the money he has left. So essentially what we're doing, we're taking our $45 and let's subtract the card first. So that would be $3.29. All right, when I subtract that, I need to regroup here in order to do that, then regroup again. So then we have 10, 10 minus nine is one, nine minus two is seven, four minus three is what? One. So $41.71 after he purchases the card. Let me keep track of it that way. He also wants to buy the what? The gift bag, right? So let's take that away. So taking away how much again? $2.79. All right, one minus nine, we need to regroup. So let's go over, take one, that becomes a six, give one, that becomes 11. 11 minus nine equals what? Two. Six minus seven, we need to regroup. So let's make that 16. 16 minus seven equals what? Nine. Make sure we bring down our decimal point. Zero minus two, again, we need to regroup. Take one, give one. So 10 minus two equals eight. 
and three minus nothing equals three. So after he has purchased the card and the gift, woo, the gift bag, he has $38.92 left. Now what we could do is we could continue to subtract candles until we see how many candles he can buy with that. That is a fine way to go. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and use reasonable estimation here. So what we're doing essentially is taking $38 that he has left and 92 cents and dividing it by the cost of the candles. And with all these decimals and division, I can just solve this by making it a reasonable answer here. So this would be about, let's say, I'm gonna say he's got about $39 that we're going to divide by $7.99, which is one penny away from $8, okay? So now if we're doing that, how many times does eight go into 39? Well, my brain right away thinks of it as four times. That would be 32. And if we subtract that, we would have six as the remainder. That means that we can buy four candles and we're going to have change left. So is four an answer? It is, isn't it? It's right up here. So Logan can purchase four candles for his mom's birthday, which would be B, okay? So again, you could have taken $38.92 and subtract $7.99 and subtract $7.99 and subtract $7.99 and subtract $7.99 again until you have just a little bit of money left, but not enough to get the next candle. You could have totally done that. I use reasonable estimation. That's a different way to do it. Um, but that is how you can solve this one. So the answer is B. Go ahead and pause the video to jot down any notes that you still need to make. And when you are ready to continue, press play. Now here's a message for the grown-ups in your life. If you are a teacher, parent, or educational leader looking to support your students with more practice in a safe environment, follow me over to McCarthyMathAcademy.com for tons of math videos specifically geared towards Florida's best standards. Just know that I would love the opportunity to make math fun, make it click, and make it stick for your students. So make sure that you check out the link somewhere around this video. Before we go, let me remind you that practice is not something we do once we're good it's the one thing we do that makes us good if you want to get better stronger or more confident with something you've got to put in intentional practice and you've got to throw down your very best effort each and every time I most certainly believe in you but the magic and the power really happens when you start to believe in yourself I'll see you next time world changers